see the world over there is a ferment and clash of ideologies and one of the recent shocking news that disturbed the entire world was a right wing plot to overthrow germany the plot to overthrow germany was reported extensively in the western press while the indian media is completely silent or unaware of this development only those who have some knowledge of modern world history know what this plot the right wing coup as they call had done for the world hitler in 1922 started with a puts as they say in german language p u t s c h a beer hall puts they used to call and that led to the phenomenon of hitlerism in the western world and the world paid a heavy price why i want to say this event and the silence of the indian media is the state of the media in india itself unfortunately there are many journalists i read in the recent news as many as 363 journalists in jails all over the world this is an unprecedented figure a new high in the curtailment of freedom of the citizens why i say this today our freedoms and our liberties are all tied with what is the state of our media freedom so we have to all become sensitive to the curtailment of press freedom and in in india itself today we see a new anxiety about the way the media is curtailed and directed to report some events and black out many reports one of the latest this news is black out in india i am sure because of the government unwillingness to be compared or discussed or debated my submission is indian citizens must realize how much we owe to britain in parliamentary democracy at the same time how much we have lost out there is a long history of parliamentary freedom in uk as early as 1200 for 15 ad through a document called magna carta british citizens got their freedom since then the british parliamentary institutions are evolving and indian constitution itself is molded largely on the model of the british constitution though unwritten there is a provision in the indian constitution in case of doubts or uncertainties we better revert back to the practice of the house of commons so we cannot run away from the historic ties india had with the british rule and we have to learn many good things positive things where a, a prime minister like boris johnson very learned man had to resign because he uttered a lie is there any instance like that in india is that possible in india where parliament doesn't debate and passes bills major legislations like the farmers legislations which led to prolonged agitation we have to take our freedoms very seriously our own independence very seriously our own commitment to civil society discussions and involve ourselves in larger issues world affairs and india then only can become a leader of the third world g20 and etc so i would urge our 
higher institutions like universities to prescribe courses in Indian parliamentary history, Indian history of Indian liberty, struggle for freedom, etc. They should become the subject of current sociology, politics and other modern humanities courses. Thank you.